she never had all that china. Aunt Anna didn't? No, Aunt Anna. Now that, I love that picture of Bob's mom. I love that. Grandma McGee, mm -hmm. May Kester. And here he is sitting by the railroad tracks. And there they are. I don't think I ever saw him. He gained weight. As I think about it as I look at him here. He gained weight in later years. And so he never looked quite like that. He looked more like that. Well, he had a tummy coming. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's little Bobby. Oh, my gosh. Uncle Dan with Bobby. And Grandma and Grandpa Kester. Look at the bathing. That's what the boys' bathing suits were like. Yeah. Grandma Kester and her flowers. <laughs> Bob the gunslinger. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Did Grandma Kester garden a lot? Like, was she kind of... No, I think he... She was a house lady. Okay. She was a house. His uh, his grandpa, her her husband, uh, did like he told you, he dug... After, I don't know where he had worked, but then afterwards he had dug, crisp, dug graves in the cemetery when he needed them. Mm -hmm. And, like, if somebody was digging their house under to put a cellar down there right. he would find those jobs and that's what Bob would help him with yeah now that was when I'm sure that was one we had taken at some point Dan was quite bald <laughs> did grandpa go bald not yeah he was his was far back you can see that picture up there that was yeah. about as far back as his went. So it was okay. just a re receding. It wasn't fall. It was oh. receding hairline. Okay. This was us at Niagara Falls. Hazel and Warren. And who were they? Okay. Hazel had married dad after his wife had died. That's his wife. Oh. And... That was just your phone again. And I don't know how long she had passed, since she'd passed away, but probably, I would say three years, and then he married Hazel. Well, then he eventually passed away. Right. And she married Warren. Warren was the, what the boys always call their cherry grandpa, because he always mm. had, he had, had martinis. Um, I mean Manhattans. Yeah. And he always had the red cherries, and he'd give them the little shot glasses with cherries in them. Robin Dom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And that was Sharon, who I told you came to visit me. Right, and Sharon is it's, Grandpa it's his, Bob's. It's his and her baby. Right. That's Grandpa McGee, and that was Grandma Hazel. Well, was, always was Grandma Hazel. Yeah. Okay. No, so that's their their girl. Sharon. Sharon. Who was that? Daniel Patrick McGee and his wife Marie. Okay, and I don't know who that is. This great uncle Al. They were people I didn't really know them, but they were always there in Chicago when we went in. And Bob always took me. He and his dad took mm. me into Chicago all the time. That was before Hazel. Ah. It was after his mother had died, but Hazel hadn't he had married her. And so they they were Uncle Dad, this Uncle Dan, Uncle Al. Said Bob should be an insurance salesman. That's all he thought he ought to be, and he just Bob didn't like to go sometimes because that's all he pushed was him for, and he did not want to be one. Yeah. He did not want to be one. So going back. And um, this was Aunt Cass. This was Cass Kavanaugh. So this is Maria Cass, Esther, Anne, Anne, I mean, and then es this was Esther. I don't know who Esther was married to. Oh, well. I mean, it says Al there. Al, the... she must be, have been married to Al. I don't remember ever seeing Al. Okay. But Marie, I do. No, his wife was Esther. Yep, that's what we just said. Yeah. 
That's her. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Anne. Okay, and Cass and Marie. Okay, all right. Okay. Then this is a picture I love because I think it could be in a history book. I think it could be, Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. It'd be Look like the that. quintessential life in Southern yes, Indiana. Yeah. See, that was my mom. Yeah. That was Uncle Russ, my mom, and I don't know, see, who that was. Okay. Oh, it must be Carl, if that's Russell. Okay, okay Laura T, Carl, and Russell. Okay, that was Carl. Okay, thanks, honey. You're welcome. See, I did know at one point enough to put it in there. And that was my grandma. She was so sweet. I'm glad to have that picture, because a picture in my mind has her stooped over a little bit. Oh. And uh, she's standing up straight there. Yeah. I like that. I, I just, you know, looked again at that. And that was, that's you, that's and Grandpa, Tom. and Tom? Yeah, that's, no, that's, uh, that's Rob, uh -huh. and this is Tom, and Bob's not in it. Okay. I don't see him in place. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's my, that's my grandma. Oh, here, okay, Great Grandma Compton, polka dot dress. Great Grandpa Compton, second from left. Oh, way back there. Oh. They were in the shade of that. And then here, Mother, Grandma Jones, with Aunt Grace and and Uncle Paul. My, it's my brother. Oh. That was my mom. Okay. And that, <laughs> okay. And this was Russell and Carl. And my mom, look at that dress. Look at the ruffles. Yes, yeah. yeah. My goodness. And here's my mother. She was that sort of some kind of a swing thing. This was a Compton family. Oh my gosh. Isaac upper left. Yeah, that's him. Great aunt Grace the center. That's my that's my favorite aunt, Grace. Okay. Andy Grace. Oh my gosh. And just a second, I'll tell you. Yeah. Lura T on porch. At far right. Is that her? That doesn't look like her to me. So I don't I don't know. Okay. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Somebody did it at some point yeah. that knew, so So why was Aunt Grace your favorite? Oh, she never married okay. until later in life. And we always wrote to her, uh -huh. but, and she would write before Christmas time and tell us, what would you like for Christmas? We would always, and we always knew, and this was just taken for granted, that whatever we, she would pick one thing from the list that you uh -huh. gave her. Uh -huh. So my brother and I would, but we finally figured out the first thing you put down was what she bought. Mm. And sure enough, it always came true. And we would not get very much for Christmas, but we always got something really nice from Aunt Grace. That's awesome. Do you and remember what she did, like, as a living? Yeah, she was a seamstress. Okay. And her, her job at the store when she went, I think nobody ever told me. And I said, you know, my mother had a, what, I don't know what she'd call it. It was kind of a, it wasn't a purse, but it was kind of a, I guess you'd call it maybe a case, like a little, kind of a little suitcase -ish. Maybe not quite as tall as that one that we can see. Mm -hmm. And it had a, now I have to get my mind going back to looking at it, but it had kind of a lap on it. And she always kept that in her chest, a big chest that my uncle and grandfather had made for her and um, she was always going to tell me something and she never did she for, we just didn't do it mm -hmm. before she passed away so i don't know what it was that she wanted to tell me interesting and, yes and i've thought about that i thought why didn't you just sit down and say well now here's the time let's do it right and uh so i don't know what it was but she looks like she's having such a good time here. 
with her friends. And that was before, I think I have a picture of, yeah, that's the first picture I have of her and my dad. They're cute. But that looks like that could have been a wedding dress, really, if she'd wanted it to be. Yeah. And that was my brother when he was about five. Oh, and we shit. were down in Evansville. Okay. And this is him, and this is my Carolyn. She's the sister of the other one that was the do- that's still living down there. What is this? Gerald. Gerald. Okay. She and Gerald were brother and sister. And um, I I thought it was kind of interesting. I didn't say a word, and I won't. But that Tom didn't say something about him being down there. Now, we went down there last time, and we were in touch with him. He had come up, he wanted to come up here, and I, and he was acting like he, well, you can't come up and go back by yourself, I don't think, in a, one day. That, that would be hard. Uh-huh. And I think he was acting, said a few words that made me think he really thought there'd be some place for him to sleep here uh, and I didn't want that yeah so Tom got in touch with them and they agreed to meet it we'd meet at this part well it ended up it was practically down to Evansville which was okay our day was very much like yesterday except we didn't stop at the that place to eat uh-huh. <laughs> at night uh, and we had lunch with him and um, so I you know I wasn't taken with him shall I say he still had kind of a, what do you call it, something on your shoulder. That means you just, what am I trying to A chip to, on his shoulder? Chip on your shoulder, that's a chip. I thought he had a kind of a chip on his shoulder. Always thinking that he kind of got beat out of something that he should have had, you Interesting. know. Interesting. So anyway, so I decided I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to get in touch anymore. Right. And he didn't. Okay. So, and Tom didn't say a word yesterday, and to tell you the truth, I forgot about it until we get to looking at these pictures. So that's how much he means, the fact that I was even going there and didn't think about him. Yeah. So, so this, I think that's a cute picture of me. That is a cute <laughs> picture of you. And that was at 10, and this is when I was 18 years old. Mm-hmm. And this was my brother. And he would have been 19 or 20. And this was his wife. Yeah. That was Margaret. Yeah. Okay, and then it changes. This is our first Christmas. Mm Mm-hmm. And that's Rob. This is Tom, so. And this is Tom. That's Rob. This is Tom. He was three weeks, three, probably three weeks, three months, three months old, probably. I'm look. He was born in April. No, I bet that was three weeks. I bet he was, because that was taken at Dodge's where we rented, and that's Tommy out in the. We put his playpen outside, and here he is though. I think he's trying to reach through. At one point, he was reaching through to feed the dog in some picture we had of that. Mm. He was a cute little boy, wasn't he? He was. And that's Tom. We put different ones in the different books. If you look at Rob's, these are probably would all be of Rob, just Rob. Probably this one would be in there, and that one was Tom. Yeah, we can pull out the one from... And that was his bicycle. Uh Uh-huh. And here we were. I love that outfit. He had a jacket that went with that. Um. And Rob had one. Oops. Oh, here they are sitting on the... We had a this kind of a fence around our yard. Mm-hmm. And they sat on that. I think it's a really good picture of both that of them. That is. How old do you think they are in the... I would say... I would say four and two or five and three. Doesn't tell us any place else, does no. it? I would say five and three. Yeah. Because it wasn't six and four. 
Mm-mm. And we had that kind of a fence around our yard. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Tom had a fire engine. He loved that. And here's that's that little chair that my oh. uncle and grandpa had made for me. That matched He's, your mom's. Yes. Yeah. And, and so that was at our house in Rochester. And we had it until I gave that to Kelsey. But he would take his old nap there once in a while. I don't know what he has in his hands. He has something up there. And this is there we dad was fixing the roof. I guess we had we had raised our roof and back and he was up there working and the boys loved to go up on the garage. Mm. I did not like that. But I believe that. Yeah, they did. So Tom loved that little tractor. Yeah. And that was his favorite place. We had a hamper that was just that high. Uh-huh. Clothes hamper. And he would get his book and just sit in there and he'd stay in there for the longest time. Probably wasn't good for him, but <laughs> he probably wasn't thinking about what he was there for most of the time. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know. These were taken just up around in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. And this was down with my grandmother. Okay. And we took the boys even though I'd been up sleeping in the chair front yeah. of the front of the car that night. Mm-hmm. And um, that must be Tom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because here that looks like that. Tom, or Jay was, or Rob was pretty cute there too. He was. And the people next door had a dog and this was a fence and Tom loved to reach through and feed it. That's, that's cute. Yeah. yeah. And it looks like he's looking at it like, well, you took it. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was mine. That was a Christmas card we sent out one year. Oh, that's adorable. That was my dad. Okay. I love that picture of him. That's a good photo. Yeah. Yeah. They look like they're having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, you know, really, the kids were really toeheads when they were little. And this was at the Lake Ontario. Okay. We'd go down there sometimes. Here he is riding a pony or horse someplace. He loved that. And then this was a swing, one of those really swing things, but it was for kids. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was Tom wanted that. He got that for his birthday one year. And there he is. I don't know. There. Oh, that was one year at Christmas he got a bow and arrow. Oh. Golly sakes. Weren't we the parents, though? Yes. Here they are in their winter jackets. Here they are. I think that was up at Cranberry Lake. They used to go over and play ball. Mm. Is Rob holding a baby? He's holding a baby. That's Jay then. See, yeah, Grandpa's holding Jay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All I can, I can't see Jay. All I can see are the feet. Yeah, his yeah. face kind of blends into Grandpa's shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where this was taken. Jay always looks like he's into mischief. Yes. And he really wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to make everybody think. Oh, and that's the Tom. Was it? Looks like he is. Football helmet? That's what it looks like, yeah. And Grandpa got bow and arrows. Yeah, who's that then? That's that, Jay. That's must Jay. Be. He must be sitting on the Davenport or my grandpa. Oh, no. He's on a rocking horse. Huh? You get it in the right light. He's sitting on a rocking okay. horse. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. And this is when we went to Brookfield Zoo, I think. I think they're matching mm-hmm. outfits. Yeah, yeah, they were they were cute. I like that. <laughs> Must have been his something birthday fourth. Mm-hmm. We ate some of the cake already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, they love that Coca-Cola thing. You put ice in it, and then it, you could have pour Coke in it and oh. dispense it. And they thought that was pretty neat. And this was our one of our, I think it was our first new car okay. that we ever bought. And it was a station wagon. Mm-hmm. Those are the colors of it, really. And that was, that mm. was really pretty. Tom, Rob had gone to camp, and we got the car while he was gone. And then we drove down to camp to pick him up. And he was like, oh my God, eyes as big as saucers. <laughs> look, how, look how awful my hair looks there. 
I don't remember wearing it like that at all. Now, here are the boys in the water at Cranberry Lake, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Here they are at the back door. Going to shoot anybody that mm -hmm. comes. They're defending. <laughs> and Tom must have gone off for baseball. Oh, I like that picture up there. Yeah, this yes. is a sweet one. Yeah. They're there by the fireplace. With their matching pajamas. Yeah, that's Aunt Marina's. Tom player, he played baseball. This was a school picture. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're really growing up here. We had a big picture. I have a big picture of that in my room. That mm. um, we had good friends. Whoops. Um, Champ and Mary Ellen. Mm -hmm. And I still am in touch with their daughter. Okay. Jeannie. And uh, so what was I going to tell you about that? Did they do the family photos of you guys? Yes, yes, yes. He took that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I have a big one of that in there. Now, where was Rob? Who knows? College, maybe? Could be. Now, here was on our trip out west. That's how we looked with our trailer. Wow. Well, he's back again. <laughs> <laughs> and here are all my men friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, and here were camping days. Bob had built this thing, cabinet, this wooden cabinet you can see there. Yeah. And that fit in the back of the station wagon. So you just lifted that out when we went found a place to camp. And this was our wing tent. And we all slept inside there. That's awesome. First night we went out, I forgot my nightgown. Oh, no. <laughs> Dad gave me his pajamas. <laughs> that's very nice of him. Yeah. Let's see where we've got some more over here. Okay, here we go. Okay, there it is, more of those. Uh-huh. And there we were at some. This is, I think we had gone right... Not across the lake, of course, but around about, so that we were right across the lake over in Canada. We were um, there, and there was a beach there, and there was absolutely no one on that beach. It was so good. So I'm trying to. I guess I'm not going to try to move that. And these are pictures of when they were building our cottage. Yeah. There it is. This is Tommy right here. That was fourth grade. Wow. The boy at this end had a suit on. Look at that. Yeah. I wonder who that was. <laughs> Probably the kid that got in trouble the most, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here was another class. Yeah, there's Tommy yep. right there. Britain Road Allen. Yeah. What is the year? 1954? 50 uh, 58 to 59. Okay, that's probably, that's writer. More correct, that is. <laughs> yeah, I guess it says right here, grade 7. Yeah, yeah, I just can't see that with even with my glasses on. Okay. Yeah. And then there he is, all decked out to be graduated. Mm -hmm. And that was, well, I'm not going to move that. And this was uh, his Mustang that he wishes he had kept. Oh. And this is him walking my mom. That would have been Rob's wedding, Rob okay. Peggy's wedding. Whoops. And that was his graduation. Yeah, thanks. Mm-hmm. And the Mustang again. Yeah, yeah. How thin I was. Look at me. I love that suit. That was the a suit good was suit. white, light blue. I mm -hmm. love that. I'm looking for Tom and I can't find him. Oh, here he is right uh -huh. there. His face was half covered. Yeah. They must have been doing something at Red Wing Stadium. Yeah. Got to go play the game there or something. Whoa. 
This is an old piano we had in our basement, mm -hmm. I guess, but we never had that kind of a floor. I don't know where that was taken. I'll have to ask him now. Mm -hmm. Here, here he is, and that's a picture by Champ. It's funny to see that Grandpa still styles his hair that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's a... Oh, and they love that rocking horse. Yeah. That's one of the toys I gave away that I shouldn't have. Oh. And there's that's Christopher. Oh, how cute. Looking at that fish he brought. Look at that. This oh, looks like family, handwritten yeah. family yeah. stuff. I don't know if you have this or not. Do I, you? I don't. I'll have to look at Otherwise it. Otherwise you look, yeah. That's their house here. Oh. That was one year when we were here for thank for Thanksgiving. Okay. Look at Carol's hair. Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty and if big. She, she colors her hair or she would be gray. Yes. That was his graduation. Mm hmm That was just one probably we took for a Christmas card. Is that me? There? No, that's no. not. Oh, that's Hazel and Warren. Oh. That's yeah. That was that's who Bob's dad had married. Uh huh. And then he died, and she married him. Okay. I'm just acting like there are no years between because I can't. That's okay. Figure all that. Yeah. Every time I see it. That's a good photo. Yeah, it is. And here we were down at. Champ Studio. Now there's there's Jeannie and Jeannie and Mary Ellen. They were up back there. We were getting ready to go home, and they gave him a Southern flag to take home. <laughs> Interesting. Yes, 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 yes. What did I have in my hand there? It looks like sunglasses. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. That's right. Bob looked in pretty good shape then, didn't he? He did. He his, looked... his hair was already pretty far back. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's all in here. Mm-hmm. I think there might be some of the gravestone. Yeah, I think that's you're right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's all there is. So oh, here's this. Yeah. That's these are the ones in West Chicago. Okay. Who is that, Char? What is that? Dad? Charles J. McGee. Yeah, that's his dad, Charles. Charles Joseph McGee. Okay. May McGee. M A E. Mm-hmm. Who is Kester? Kester William that was, and Daisy. That's who. Sh that's her parents. Yes, and then I guess her. Uh, little sis, yeah, little sister who died at a year old. Yeah. Was also okay. there. Yeah. And that's all. Yep. That's all. There ain't no more. Isn't that funny? That's all I have of those. Yeah, I wouldn't have put any in there. No. No.